Fox News First. Welcome back. It's 849 now. A group of South Texas women have come together to end, or at least try to end, domestic violence. Their work is to honor the woman behind me here, the late Christine Mesa, who was killed almost a year ago. Her mother is here this morning, Laura Acevedo, along with Anastasia Isaac Salazar, the president of uh, the Christine Mesa Foundation. Laura, I want to start by asking about you, and I'm so sorry we have to meet under these circumstances here, but I know you're trying to do great work, and I know it's to honor the memory of your daughter. What would you like everyone to know about what your daughter was all about? Uh, well, first of all, she was the eldest of four beautiful daughters, uh, very caring, um, loved animals, loved people. Um, she just was full of life. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she was currently enrolled uh, uh, the, at SAC. Uh, she wanted to become a nurse mm. uh, just so she can help people because uh, that was her, she felt that was her passion and, and her mission in life was to, to help people. And uh, she was, of course, like I said, the, the eldest of four, mm -hmm. she uh, helped uh, in raising her younger sisters. Mm. And that was th probably the most important thing in her life was her family, her sisters. And um, just, you know, was very protective over her, her siblings and myself. Right. Um, All right. We're looking at some photos here of Christine. And, and Asasia, you were telling me that, that you worked together. You knew her very well. You were one of the first people she met when she came to San Antonio. And unfortunately, she uh, was gone way too soon a as a victim of domestic violence, which makes it even more cruel. Yes. And so now you've, you've, you're heading up this foundation. Yes. Uh, we formed the Christine Mesa Foundation in hopes to make a difference, to let everybody know that domestic violence, it is real. It can happen. It does not discriminate against anyone. And uh, we just want to let people know who, who are in that situation that there is help that to get out to get help and we encourage you to um, contact the battered women shelter contact us as a resource so we can get you in contact with somebody and um, the aftermath the aftermath is not worth it mm -hmm. and the reality is that there may be women just like Christine who are watching this right now who might be too scared or for whatever reason just not speaking up what kind of a plea would you give to them to say that it is okay as the title would suggest, stop the silence. Well, what do you tell them to get that message across? I'm going to tell you um, to think about your family, think about your loved ones. Don't feel locked in silence. People are out there who want to help. We, we're a group who want to help. We want to reach out to you and let you know it's okay, that it's a process. We understand it's a cycle. We understand that you can retreat back into it, but we're here to be the positive side. We're here to bring you into the light, to mm -hmm. let you know that there is hope. I know it's so emotional, it's so raw, but you were telling me too that uh, the, the county, Bear County, has rallied behind you, yes, they the have. walk, and you were telling me a little bit about a proclamation that uh, yes. is a great honor for your foundation. Very great honor, yes. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, Commissioner Sergio Chico Rodriguez proclaimed the uh, February 18, 2012, to be the Stop the Silence and the Violence Day. And that'll be the Saturday, and that's the same day as the walk, which is one of the reasons you're here, is to yes. encourage people to get out and, as we said, stop the silence and the violence. Yes, right? yes. we encourage you to participate in our first annual 5K to be held on February 18th, 2012. It starts at 8, and it's going to be taking place at McAllister Park at Pavilion Number 2. And right now, early registration is $20. You can register at solarsports.com under the events or also at athleteguild.com. And you had this uh, this form here, which I know is difficult to see, but people can pick this up. Yes, people and can fill pick it that up and send it into our PO box, or you can get it also from our website that just launched, which is the Christine Mesa Foundation mm -hmm. org. I know you said that she wanted to help people in a way. I don't I don't know how rewarding it is to know now that she will be helping people. Uh, yes, it is death. very rewarding. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it was um, it's been um, emotional roller coaster mm -hmm. for all of us, and uh, this is a, also a way of of uh, coping. Uh, we're still keeping her alive in, in some sense, sure. and, and this was all about Christine. I mean, she just loved helping people, and uh, we hope that we are able to, you know, we can save one life. It's well worth our work, yes. you know, our endeavors. No question about it. Well, both of you are extremely brave for being on here. We do appreciate that, and we wish you all the success with the foundation and with the event. Well, thank you for having us. Thank You're you. You're very welcome. All right, we will step aside, and we will be right back.